Well, good morning, Fairfield Christian School family. If you're seeing this in the morning, if not, then hello to you. Hope you're having a great day. Today is Thursday, December the 5th. We are moving a whole lot closer toward Christmas vacation, and kids are looking forward to that, and I'm sure you are too, to spending some time with your kids. I want to talk to you quickly today about why Fairfield Christian School has a pastoral recommendation policy in place. You know, as of late, a few of our families have had to scramble to get those forms because our 90-day uh, probationary period or allowance period had expired. You know, when we started our school five years ago, we realized that there are two types of schools. And you've probably heard me say this in the interview process. There are evangelistic Christian schools, and those are simply the ones who feel it's their mission to evangelize families and kids, and they pretty much accept anyone as long as they meet attendance uh, standards and academic standards. And then there are Christian schools who feel like that they are, well, as I usually explain it, the third leg of the stool, supporting the child in concert with the home and the church. And we decided early on which type of school we were gonna be. And although we applaud schools uh, that wanna reach out to families and students, we realize that by doing that, you cannot maintain a successful Christian quality environment on campus. It's just not possible. Now, of course, we understand that even with families who go to church and raise their kids with proper biblical values, uh, we still have sin natures and things still happen. But I can't tell you the quality of our campus uh, that has improved compared to other schools I've been a part of because we have this requirement. So we intentionally want to support families who not only are Christian uh, by their faith, by the things that they profess, but by their actions. And as the Bible clearly teaches us, or as I tell our church, uh, you can be a Christian without going to church, but you can't be a mature one. And I know that statement makes a lot of people a little upset, but it's the truth because the Bible tells us that as we grow in our faith, that we go to church and we engage in relationships with other believers and we grow together and we challenge each other and we correct each other. And that is the kind of school we want to be in partner with families who teach godly character in their homes and demonstrate that by taking their children to church. And so that's why we have one time a year that we check with a pastor, hey, does this family come to church? Are they faithfully engaged in your church? And if they say yes and sign that form, then we're good to go. So we realized that some of you had dropped those forms off to pastors and pastors being pastors uh, lost them and they didn't get to us. And we're gonna do a better job of following up with you to let you know that we didn't get the form within that 90 day period. And then some families just maybe didn't realize exactly how important it was to us and how serious we are about it. I mean, it is in the contracts, everybody signs. Uh, and this year we're doing a much better job of following up to make sure that we have those. So I apologize to anybody who maybe it caught you by surprise because you didn't read the fine print or didn't go through all the enrollment documents, but it's a big deal for us here. And I just want to say thank you because you are demonstrating to your children that it is important that, uh, that education not just be limited to academics, but also to spiritual values. And I would encourage you in this, because uh, we have had families do this in the past, where they go to church maybe for a couple of months, get the pastor to sign the form, and they basically don't go all year. And then next year when they want to enroll, they go back for a little bit and try to get that form signed again. Uh, I would challenge you, uh, think about what that's teaching your kids. It's much better to lead the way as parents and show our kids what it's like to live godly lives. Not that we don't make mistakes, not that we don't mess up, because we do. But show them how to be faithfully engaged on a regular basis in a local Bible-believing church that teaches the gospel. All right, if you have any questions about that, please just feel free to give me a call, call the office, talk to our office staff, and it would be glad to explain it to you further. Thank you for your patience. We've gotten better at that this year. And thank you for understanding how important it is uh, to have those shared values so that we are supporting you, the parent, and your pastor, your church, and not trying to teach something differently that kids aren't getting anywhere else. All right, God bless you guys. Have a great week. Thank you.